स्केलेटल सिस्टम ऑफ मैन एक्सियल स्केलेटल सिस्टम अपेंटिकुलर स्केलेटल सिस्टम हाई फ्रेंड्स आई होप दिस वीडियो विल हेल्पफुल फॉर प्लस वन साइंस स्टूडेंट्स चैप्टर ट्वेंटी लोकोमोशन एंड मूवमेंट एंड नाउ आई एम गोन टू टेक द स्मॉल टॉपिक स्केलेटल सिस्टम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट skeletal system what is a skeleton the skeleton is a mobile framework made up of two not six bones and approximately half of which are in the hands and feet so the skeletal system consists of a framework of bones and the cartilages skeletal system okay skeletal system it consists of bones and cartilages and this system has a significant role in movement shown by the body imagine a uh, chewing a food without jaw bones and walking around without the limb bones so bone and cartilage are a specialized connective tissue this both are a specialized connective tissues so it has a very hard matrix okay the important point that it is a very hard uh, matrix very hard matrix it due to and it is due to calcium salts calcium salts so and next uh, cartilages and cartilages is a slightly pliable matrix pliable matrix and it is due to the chondroitin salts it serves as functions like serves as an anchorage uh, for the skeletal muscles so first of all it serves as an anchorage then next and it act as a pro- protective cage for the body's internal organs so second protection its function is protection and the female bones are usually smaller and lighter than male bones and the female pelvis is shallower and has a wider cavity next we have to study the main classification of the human skeletal system that the human skeletal system is further divided into two that is axial skeletal system and appendicular skeletal system an appendicular skeletal system let's what is axial skeletal system the axial skeletal system are the bones present on the main central axis of the body so next appendicular skeletal system appendicular skeletal system are the limb bones and the bones that connect limbs to the axial skeleton which is called a girdle bones according to my convenience one of the classification of axial skeletal system i taken as head and the second one sternum <coughs> third ribs and fourth one vertebral column an appendicular skeletal system is further divided into two limbs and girdle bones and axial skeletal system 
has total of 80 bones and for appendicular skeletal system 126 bones and head I taken it as 29 sternum 1 ribs 12 pairs that is 24 bones and vertebral column 26 limbs 120 girdle bones 6 And bones on a head region are divided into four cranium, facial bones, ear ossicles, hyoid. And the dumbbells are cranium bones are total of 8 bones, facial bones 14, air ossicles 6 and hyoid 1. The types of cranial bones. Okay. Cranial bones. First, parietal. Parietal bones. Parietal bone, then temporal, sphenoid, occipital, frontal, then ethmoid. And first, two cranial bones are paired. Two, two. That's why two, two, four, then one, 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 one. Total of eight cranial bones. Next, facial bones. Palatine, palatine bone, the mandible, vomit, inferior, nasal, cochlea. Next, uh, maxilla, then zygomatic, nasal, lacrimal, and mandible and warmer. This both bones are unpaired. So, this both one one, and others are two. So, two. Plus one plus one plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Okay, all this fourteen facial bones. Then next ear ossicles. Ear ossicles that everyone knows that malus, incus, and septus. All are paired. Then at last hyoid. That's only one. As a U-shaped bone which supports the tongue. There is only one and it supports the tongue and it is not attached to any other skull bones. It is not attached to okay? Next we are going to study about sternum. Sternum is one bone but it is a fusion of three parts that the three parts are manubrium, manubrium, then body, and support process. Support process. Next, the main bone that is the rib. Ribs that is. 12 pairs and a total of 24 bones and they are further classified into three true ribs then false ribs then floating ribs so 
First of all, two ribs. Two ribs. So they also known as word bro sternal ribs. Word bro sternal ribs. And they are the first seven a pair. First seven pairs are a true ribs. Okay. And they are ventrally attached to sternum and uh, dorsally to vertebral column. Next, the second type is false uh, ribs. They are also known as vertebral chondral ribs. Vertebral chondral uh, ribs. They are ventrally attached to seventh uh, rib. Okay, attached down seventh rib, and they are the false ribs are eighth, ninth, and a tenth pairs. And next, at last, floating uh, ribs. Floating uh, ribs. They have. No ventrally attachment. That is 11th and 12th pair. Next, vertebral column. Okay. Vertebral column. There are total of 26 okay the total of 26 and they are of five types cervical thoracic lumbar sacral and coccygeal they are 7, 12, 5, 1, 1. Okay. So we can write the vertebral formula as C7, T12, L5, S5. So 4. This is a 4 babies. That is in case of a child. They have a total of 33 total of 33 but in the case of an adult total of 26 okay this is in the case of child and this is in the case of adult it's about appendicular skeletal system so appendicular skeletal system is then divided into limb bones and girdle bones limb bones total of 120 and girdle bones total of six bones Okay, limb bones consist of four limbs and hind limbs. And as on each hand there is 30. So 30 into 2 equal to 60. And hind limbs that it says in both legs, that is each leg consists of 30. That is 30 into 2 which is equal to 60. So 60 plus 60 equal to 120. Then next four limbs. Four limbs it consists of humerus, radius, ulna. Carpal, metacarpal, phalanges. And in hind limbs, consists of femur, patella, tibia, fibula, tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. So, the total number of bones is humerus, 1. Radius, 1. Alna, 1. Carpals, 8. Metacarpal, 5. And phalanges, 14. Then femur 1. Petala which means that kneecap bone. Okay. It is a 1. Then tibia 1. Fibula 1. Then tarsals 7. Metatarsals 5. And phalanges 14. 
next about a girdle bones and girdle bones consist of total of six bones and it consists of pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle pectoral girdle consists of clavicle and scapula and clavicle has two collar bones on each shoulder and scapula are in triangular shape and it is of two each and next about pelvic girdle and pelvic girdle is consist of coxal bones and coxal bones it is a fusion of three bones three bones and they are ilium ischium and pubis thanks for watching my video if you like subscribe for more videos